Alright guys, so this review will be of the Sword Models Freeliner Sentry Class Tractor Only in Anthony Colors. And this is one that many people don't have, and I don't know why, it is pretty nice. It's just the same thing as every other tractor, except one or two different things, and the colors obviously, but let's get into this review. Anyway, you can buy the tractor for, I believe, around 79 bucks, which is... Very reasonable, and then you can get it with the trailer for 150 which I think is uh, more than reasonable. I bought the tractor only because it was on sale for 30 bucks at DHS Diecast. Anyway, to get into it first, you can see here that the wheel I already have turned, but if we look at it, you can put it straight and then you could turn it left. And if you listen, The clicking you hear is it locking into position. So you can lock it into turning left, uh, lock it straight, and then lock it turning right. And what I mean by that is just a little, I guess, nub. And it just holds it into position. And that's good and all, uh, especially if you have a diorama or even a stop motion. Uh, you know, it, it will work very good. Looking at the front of the truck, at the hood... You can see the Sword 06 license plate, and um, that's pretty much the year that it was made. Every single Sword model has that uh, last two numbers of the year that it was made. And you can see all the lights on the front and the grill. The very nice thing about the grill is that it's etched through. And when I show you the engine, I'll show you what I mean by that if you don't know. And uh, that really does show build quality. Coming to the side, you can see there's a start of the decal, and also something that's very good as well is the hood opens and the hood opens and it reveals the engine on the inside and the engine is actually pretty detailed and I'm glad that they did that especially how much the hood opens um, because if someone does a display with the hood open you don't just want you know nothing there so that's also very very nice I really enjoy how they did that even though I'm not one to keep the hood open and what I mean by an etched hood is if you look it's just like the real thing and uh it's not just one solid piece of metal. It does actually etch through, and you could see that by me, uh, you being able to see my finger through the hood. Anyway, closing the hood, and if you're wondering, uh, on, on some models you would be able to hold it open at certain positions, but others you won't be able to. It's just that sort of thing, whether I guess if the paint is thick enough to hold the hinge or not. But anyway, looking on the back of the cab, you could see that the back of the cab starts... Uh, the really cool striping on it, and I don't know if I'm a, I'm a fan of the striping on the back of the cab or not, because I feel that it, it kind of breaks up the white, but that's how the company is on, I guess, the real truck, so, you know, I bought the model, and if I didn't like it that much, I wouldn't have bought it, but anyway, both of the doors open, and the way I open my doors is just with the mirror, because I glue them in. But you have to be careful when you open the door, because as you could see, it's very flimsy. And I never broke one, but I don't want to, because I don't know if it would ever go back on or whatever. Um, another cool thing that I want to show you guys right here is not only the seat, but the seat has working suspension. And or air ride, whatever you want to call it, and uh, as you can see that, that's it. that's just pretty crazy, um, and I really like that a lot, I don't like to mess with it too much, because I don't want to break it, but it doesn't seem that delicate, and if you look, you can see your steering wheel, and uh, your dashboard, and everything, and if you are wondering, the right side door does open as well, and this seat also has working suspension, not as good as the other one, probably just my model. Below the cab, you can see to get up into it has that diamond plate texture, and it actually does, it is etched through, so if you rub your finger along it, um, sometimes your skin does get caught in it, because it is actually pretty sharp, but it won't cut you or anything. Now, I'm going to have to raise up over here to show you this part, because this part is very cool. Now, if you look at the top of the truck here, you can see the side has uh, a window and whatnot, and you could kind of see in, but it is removable, 
which is very cool. And if you look underneath, it kind of has like a felt or like uh, some type of material. It does look very cool. And this flaps open, and then you it reveals your bed and the rest of your sleeper cab. And it's hard to tell, but if you look, that's black down there. And I guess it's supposed to represent carpet because it's an actual felt. And that's really cool. And as well, if you look, the seats move back and forth. So I guess you could have more room in the sleeper. And if we zoom in, you could see more of the dashboard and more of the inside of the truck. But um, I thought that was a cool enough feature to show, and it looks very, very cool. Um, just the fact that they made it made the model be able to do that is kind of amazing in its own because you don't see that too too often. And if we look here, it has these tabs right here, and that pretty much locks it in. You could lift the truck up when it's locked, and it's not a uh, you know built cheap or flimsy in any which way. Now, if we go to the back of the truck, you could see it has the GPS up top and it has the wires running to it. Exhaust on this side and the exhaust is in a uh, hollow. It just kind of goes in for maybe like a 32nd of an inch and it's just painted black, but looks really good nonetheless. And down here you have your headache rack with your chains and your binders and um, they are actually real. So, that's pretty cool. And if you look right here, there's these three little uh, pipe-looking things with holes in them. And they kind of look like what you use on a, a car to hold fishing poles. But if we take one of the lines, you could store them in there. And I wish it would work a little bit better in the sense that they would actually hold in there. But the force of them actually being uh, like a elastic or whatever you want to call them actually pushed them out and you can see there's more diamond plate right over there coming to the back back axles working suspension which is great and the fifth wheel is movable and if you look on the fifth wheel it has this kind of like a locking mechanism and I'll try to show it as best as I could here if we move it you can see that clip kind of moves and that's where the the kingpin would fit and you'd basically undo it for the kingpin slide it in there and it would work like like that and it would hold the trailer in and it does work very well unless you really tug on it but uh, works perfect and the back of the truck with the mud flaps and the lights it's really nothing crazy and underneath I thought it, was, it would be good enough to show underneath has the chrome fuel tanks the drive shaft uh, back has the air chambers and whatnot now one thing I do want to say too and I didn't go in this in the beginning because it is kind of like a comparable thing if we look on the front here it has the chrome mirrors and not every Freightliner that sword produces has this this is only on a few I don't want to say for sure which ones have it But it seems like only the special library ones have it it's maybe you know a few others do as well But from from what I have in my collection only the special library ones have it and it is very very cool to have I'm you know really glad that it has it and it does add a lot to the model so anyway there it is. Uh, definitely a cool library to have. I uh, just wish I had some trailers for it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the review and take care.